Hey, it's Gav from Hiking for Health and welcome to another walk. Today's walk starts in the village of Summerby in Leicestershire and it's quite historical because in World War II, the 10th Battalion were billeted here before their deployment to uh, Arnhem where they fought at Operation Market Garden. They uh, stayed here, they trained here and were deployed on the second day of Arnhem. They had quite a tough time of it. Anyway, I'm outside the church, so I'm going to go and have a look in there, see if there's any history, and then my walk will start. Uh, it goes past a, an Iron Age hill fort today, Borough on the Hill, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Unfortunately, the church was locked, but not a problem. I'll just get started on the hike and uh, there's a church at Burr on the Hill. So this public footpath is part of the Leicestershire Round and the Jubilee Way. Well, I can see two of them, so the two billy goats gruff. Well, it's just started to rain. Showers were forecast this morning, but the afternoon's supposed to brighten up and that blue sky is filling me with optimism. So fingers crossed, that's how the day pans out. And the sun has come out. Have a look at that. Just what we need. Although, I can feel myself warming up already. It won't be long before it's winter coats and winter jackets. And then we'll be wishing for temperate days like these. really is a beautiful walk. I'd give it a 9 out of 10 so far. Just beautiful. So just here there's flattened grass leading to this and that's definitely a hidey hole for something. I wonder what animal's been using that. Answers on a postcard. 
too. Yes, the animal competition. So here's the route. I started off in Summerby, parked fairly close to the church, and then made my way along the Leicestershire round. Now that was lovely. And now I'm just about to go down a valley and then cut through the woods. And that leads me out to Borough Hill Country Park. And that's a, an Iron Age hill fort. And then I'll come out there, up to Borough on the Hill. Last time I was there, I happened to be uh, walking past when the groom was outside the church um, and his wedding was happening in an hour or two and I got chatting with him and he looked really nervous and I wrote in the book and mentioned that I'd been chatting to him and congratulated them and then I'll make my way back along that public footpath back into Summerby. This is a 10 out of 10 route if you haven't done it before and you want a short Sunday walk. It's about four or five miles so not a fantastic long distance, but still a great walk nevertheless. So this next part is perhaps one of my favorite bits of the walk. Uh, it's a lovely little valley that you descend into and uh, then cut through the woods. So let me show you. So you go through this gate here. Now the last time I did this walk, I was doing it in the opposite direction. So I was heading up that hill. Hopefully we'll get some sunshine and get some colour on those autumn leaves. So there's a bench here with this view. as I've said before, is part of the Leicestershire Round. And it's dedicated to a Jim Mason, who was uh, integral with erecting the styles and footbridges for the Leicestershire Round, so people could enjoy the route. So thank you to Jim. Through there is the village of Little Dolby and you might be able to make out Little Dolby Hall and also the church, just the spire at the top. The path does continue that way uh, but I need to go left at this point so on I go. So it's early November and I've just had to take my jacket off because it's too warm and the rain has literally just started. Funny old weather. Well, that sun didn't last long. It would have been nice to have had some sunshine amongst these leaves.
So this is the entrance to the borough on the hill, hill fort, which is an Iron Age hill fort, but it's believed that there were people around here as early as the Mesolithic times, which is the, the Middle Stone Age. There's a, a trig point up here too. So let's have a look and see what the views are like. You can see why hill forts were so successful and popular. Getting up to them is a, a right pain. And imagine you've got people up there who don't want you up there. So they're defending their hill fort and you're at an advantage. The last time I was here, there were cows everywhere. Now I can't tell if that rain is heading this way or well, that's the rain that's just disappeared. I hope it's not coming this way. I think I've taken uh, a bit of a difficult route up here. <laughs> Never the easy choice. Hey, have a look at this. Through the keyhole, who lives in a house like this? You've got to love big gnarly trees. Absolutely brilliant. That rain is coming this way. Oh, I better get a move on. And there was me hoping I was going to arrive at the hill fort and it was going to be glorious sunshine. And I was going to say, look at this amazing hill fort in all its majestic beauty. And it's going to be raining, isn't it? Gotta love a bit of autumn woodland. And woodland exploring. So this little woodland here looks like the perfect spot to shelter from the rain. So I think I'm gonna get my city mat out and uh, get my coffee. I've just had one, but who cares? If you can hear that, that's the rain. I think I'm going to shelter in here until it passes. So, I'm just approaching the hill fort now. Little bit of blue sky. It's just been constant misty rain for about an hour. Now, this hill fort was at its strongest in between 100 BC and 50 AD. 
Now the Roman invasion was 43 AD, so maybe that had something to do with it, but apparently there is, or there was evidence found of Roman occupation because they found various things like pottery, maybe Roman coins. But you'd, you'd think that the Romans would probably adopt this hill fort with the views it offers. Now, Burr on the hill actually means fortification on the hill, so a strong point indeed. Last time I was up here, the Lancaster came flying in from over there, and it was beautiful, did a flyover right over the top. Lovely sand. So this walk's been a 10 out of 10 today. If you're into country walking, I recommend it. I'll put the OS map in the video somewhere so you can pause it and have a look. But what a fantastic walk it's been. Lovely countryside. Right, I'm gonna go and have a look at this trick point. Now I haven't seen any cows yet. That's a good sign. I always think when I visit places like this, just what history happened here. Roundhouses everywhere. And the days would have just been just like today. They would have just woken up Right, what are we doing today? And this would have been where they lived. The Iron Age. Again, it's that, what would you do if you had a time machine? And what would they think of somebody like me walking around with this selfie stick? Maybe they'd treat me like a god like C-3PO in Return of the Jedi. The Ewoks thought he was something amazing. Who knows? Well, the temperatures are starting to dip. There's about an hour and a half of sunlight left, but probably an hour, half an hour of twilight. Yeah, I really fancy uh, navigating that. I'll go this way. So this would have been the entrance, I'm guessing. Yeah, that'd have been the entrance, or one of them. Down here, you can see evidence of ridge and furrow. So farming going on. If you want to visit this park, the car park's just down there. It can be accessed by the car if you if you don't fancy approaching it by walking. It's a great place to explore. See that there would have been another entrance. 
So to finish the walk, I need to head to Borough on the Hill and then I need to go back to Summerby where my car's parked. Now, I might not make the finish in the light, so I might be getting back to the car in the dark, but c'est la vie, that's the way it is. That's an impressive sky behind me. That's the village of Burr on the Hill over there. So the route goes from here across these fields and over to there, and then Summerby is past that again. I wasn't uh, expecting to go mud skiing today. So this is the approach to Borough on the Hill, which is just up there. You might be able to see the spire of the church. And there's the hill fort just behind me. So the last time I was here, there was a chap stood in the main doorway and he was getting married and he'd arrived quite early and you could tell he was nervous. And I stopped to chat with him. I've never been married for like two years now. I signed my name on the book. Oh, and it's open. I didn't think it would be. All right, let's go and see if my name's in there. Oh. Here we go, 21st of May, 2022. Gavin from Lynx said hello to Marty as he was waiting to get married. I was out walking the local area. Best wishes. Thanks for the directions. Sir Raymond Green Bart died August the 24th, 1947, age 78. So I wonder what these medals are.
it could only be a quick visit. I need to get back. The rain's come again and the daylight is fading. I usually like to spend a lot longer looking at the history. Out in all weathers. <laughs> I can't complain. I've had some nice weather today and I was particularly happy that the sun decided to shine as I was at the uh, hill fort towards the end there. So you can't have it all, I suppose. Oh dear. I was really hoping to go to the memorial at just outside Burr on the Hill because uh, there was a memorial made for the 10th Battalion at uh, Arnhem, who billeted at some of the where I'm parked. It's quite a, an impressive monument as well. So I'm not sure I'll be able to make that because the daylight is starting to fade. If I can, I'll pop there in the car and have a quick look because it will be nice to see it. Well, I'm just back into some woodland. So I'm just in Summerby now, just about to uh, enter the village. Oh, it's been a good walk that. Varied weather, but it makes it memorable, I suppose. I'm um, gonna find a, a local pub and uh, settle for something nice to eat. So thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the walk. Do it if you can, and uh, come and have a look at this hill fort. Thanks again, all the best.